So let's talk about that kind of nine to five mentality and how do I shift out of that? Now, the first thing I'm going to say is, you know, nine to five isn't evil for everybody. And honestly, entrepreneurship is not for everyone. Sometimes that uncertainty is more than someone can handle. It might be just like, I just, I just can't deal with it. You know, I, I really like knowing exactly what I'm doing every day. And that's, that's awesome. If that's, if that works for anyone, that's exactly what they should be doing. But when um, someone is kind of looking, there's like a little itch, you know, that little tickle, that little thing that just won't go away where I feel like maybe there's something more I could do. Maybe I'm getting tired of having someone else dictate every moment of my life from the time I have to drive to the traffic and the time I'm there in this job and then the time I have to drive back to the traffic. For some of us, that starts to feel stifling and that starts to feel like I'm just not doing the thing I was meant to do. I'm just not quite getting that to that thing. I feel kind of a call to that pull. And it, it may not even be like a blinding flash of light from above where you're just like, I know I'm supposed to do this. It may just be like, really, I really can't stop thinking about doing something else where I have a little more freedom and more money actually in my life. So how do you deal with that? This is, these are mindset issues where the limitations we might put on ourselves, if you are truly called to do that next thing, to really be able to seize the day with the vision of what that means in your life. What would that mean in your family? What does it mean for the years ahead of you? What does it mean for having that freedom and the time to be able to do a thing that you love, get paid well for it, and still have time to do the other things you love that are even more important, your family, your health, your well-being, and just knowing at the end of it all, when we all come to that day, that's the last day on earth, that we, if you have the opportunity to even think it at the end, to say, job well done, I did that thing. I, I, I stepped forward and embraced that instead of regrets. Sometimes it's really a shift in belief. The things that are in our head about whether it's nine to five, it's just predictable, that's what expected of me. It's what my family expects of me. That's what society expects of me to make that shift from, but what do I expect of me? What do I feel I'm supposed to do? And be able to start working on it, changing that belief to what if, even just try that on what if, what if I could really do this thing? What if I was able to, I, I were able to do those things because I had the freedom in my work and the money.